It took 10 years and 22 singles, but Depeche Mode is now the ward in the music called progressive techno-pop. Tonight, the band is appearing in person for an autograph party at a West L.A. record store, and it has attracted thousands of fans waiting to see their music idols, some who have been lined up since last night. Off and on, I've been waiting in line for like two days. If you were anywhere near the Beverly Center today or tonight, you probably saw a lot of people there. It's also known as human gridlock. And uh, you're probably wondering, what is all this about already? Well, it's about a group called Depeche Mode. Yes, that's a hot new British group, Depeche Mode. And Cindy Vander is live right now with this really extraordinary street scene. And she's going to tell us uh, what's behind it all, Cindy. Well, what's behind me right now is probably every teenager in town. And they're all screaming in my ear. The group Depeche Mode is very hot. They started out as a dance band, and they've just built. They've sold out the sports arena. Just a few minutes ago, they arrived by limousine at the warehouse here in the Beverly Center area. And I tell you, I haven't seen anything like this before. Girls were crying. Boys were hurling themselves at the limousine. Would you believe there may be almost 10,000 teenagers here? You could hear the screaming all over the Beverly Center area. A line of teenagers 15 blocks long. Like the swooning over Sinatra, the ecstasy over Elvis, and the fainting over the Fab Four, Depeche Mode is today's hot act. In fact, the name means high fashion. Well, basically, it's just the feeling of the music itself, which you express through the way you dress, of course. Now, the leather jacket, the cut-off uh, you know, shirt and stuff like that symbolizes enough air to dance around with. The warehouse expects to ring up sales of at least $40,000 tonight. Though a lot of other stores in the area closed early, afraid of the crowds who've been camping out for days. The band doesn't even get here till 9. How long have you been waiting on this lot? Since Sunday morning. Oh my gosh, why do you do that? Because they're good. It's the best one. They are the best. How have you eaten? How have you slept? We've been eating at Taco Bell for the 59 cent special. We've been sleeping. We slept the first night we were here. We slept outside their hotel in our car. How far did you come for this? Arizona. All the way from Arizona. We've just gotten an updated figure on the number of kids here. Police say now there's maybe 15,000 kids here. A police helicopter is going overhead. There's lots of backup patrols in the area. The band's only going to be here for three hours. I'm afraid a lot of these kids will not be able to get in to get autographs. And at that point, who knows what they might do. So far, it has been peaceful, just not quiet. I'm Cindy Vandor, reporting live from the Beverly Center area. Back to you, Jerry and Jane. I, I've just made a list, got one thing on it. Events to miss. <laughs> Unless you're into cramp and crush. Uh, Scratch Mode is our favorite group. It's been for the past years, and they're going to keep, keep on going. As long as they're producing the music, we're going to produce the money. In fact, buy your thing. And also, I think it's the best group simply because they produce like the best music, expressing our emotions, and we all can relate to it. And I think it definitely kicks but. And I found this out the hard way. I went to Beverly Center tonight. Thousands of fans have been lining La Cienega Boulevard to await the arrival of the techno-pop band Depeche Mode at a record store in West Hollywood today. Some dedicated fans camped out on the street since yesterday morning and came from as far away as Riverside and Elsinore to get a chance to meet their favorite band. Some explained what made Depeche Mode so appealing. They're more composers than anything. They're, they're original. They're, they're on the leading edge of, of every form of music there is. You hear their songs on the radio, you know it's Depeche Mode. And they're always coming up with something new and different. They have very strong lyrics. All the fans say their wait is worth it, especially since this is the only local appearance, I guess, that Depeche Mode is going to be making during its world tour this year. Sure is a traffic jam, I'll tell you. That's tonight's Hollywood Report. We came all the way from Arizona because we heard about it over the radio. From Scottsdale. Uh, Welcome them. In the new uh, album. It was definitely worth the ride. Traffic tonight has been congested near the Beverly Center for hours. And no, it's not because of a traffic accident, but a group from England. Right now we go to Jane Wells at the update desk for the story. Jane? Pat and Dennis, LAPD has just called out a tactical alert, which means plenty of squad cars are on the way. The band is called Depeche Mode, the latest postmodern group to retake the United States by storm. Tonight, thousands of fans jam the streets surrounding the warehouse music store across from the Beverly Center trying to get autographs. The private security force could not handle them all, and police had to be called. Twenty units arrived initially, but they haven't been enough. 
one person fainted after fans began to crowd in. She was taken to a local hospital, and police have arrested another person. These fans were going to almost any lengths to get a peek at their favorite rock stars, even climbing trees. But neighbors aren't thrilled with the group, the noise, or the traffic jams, and neither are the police. I think the Fish Bones one of the most influential bands of the 80s, and they're going to look forward to the 90s because they use the most highest technology in music equipment today, sampling machines, uh, Fairlight programming, so they have one of the most best record companies to possibly be with. So that's what basically makes the Fish Bones my most provocative and influential band. Music fans are still jamming the streets around the Beverly Center. And police already have made several arrests. Let's go back to Jane Wells at the update desk. Some people are calling it a near riot. Police were called out to the Beverly Center about an hour ago when security forces were unable to handle the thousands of kids who turned out for an autograph session by the English group Depeche Mode. The line stretched for 15 city blocks. One woman has been taken to a local hospital after being crushed by fans, and two more ambulances have just been dispatched to the scene Police have had to make several arrests, and the band was forced to leave early. Now, 30 of the fans climbed up and damaged our own Fox News microwave van. So uh, uh, we've been hit by this, too. That's it from the update desk. I'm Jane Wells. Pat, back to you. Seems like I haven't seen that since the days of the Beatles. The reason why I love Depeche Mode is because they're all gorgeous. And my husband is right there, and he's going to kill me. Riot police, we are told, have gathered at the Beverly Center right now. Thousands of screaming, pen-wielding rock fans are waiting to get autographs from the British band Depeche Mode. At one time, police say the line of teenagers stretched for about 15 blocks. Some of the diehard fans say they camped out for days just to get a glimpse of the rock stars. The band members are at the Warehouse Records store tonight to promote the release of their new album, Violator. We thought it was going to be about 30 people, <laughs> and uh, it turns out it's about 17 to 20,000. It's like, unbelievable. Actually, police estimate, estimate that only about 15,000 people showed up. Still a lot of people. Crowd control problem in West L.A. tonight, as thousands of teenage fans of the rock band Depeche Mode crammed the area near that shopping center for a chance to meet their heroes. Some of the teens had been waiting in line since Sunday morning all for a chance to get a Depeche Mode autograph. The band arrived at 9 o'clock this evening, but left just an hour later, triggering disappointment in much of the large crowd. There was a lot of pushing and shoving. We have no reports of any serious injuries, but police are still trying to clear the area at this moment. Good evening. Topping the news at the 11th hour, rock fans got out of control at an album signing this near the Beverly Center tonight. Police say that a crowd that had waited for hours to see the British group Depeche Mode turned ugly, breaking windows, throwing bottles. This tape was shot just before things got really bad. Hundreds of police, some in riot gear, had to come in. They rushed to the scene to control the crowd. Estimated up to 15,000 people out there who had been waiting for hours, even days, at Warehouse Records on La Cienega and 3rd just to get autographs. The group showed up at about 9 o'clock and signed autographs to promote their new album called Violator. A record store clerk says it soon got very scary as people were pounding on windows to get in. The group was whisked away for their own safety. There are reports of several injuries, cuts and bruises and broken bones. People, uh are still there. Police are still there right now trying to get that crowd under control. We will have an update later on in this newscast. Now, this is just in an update now on that disturbance that's been going on near the Beverly Center where fans of the rock group Depeche Mode got out of control tonight. About 90 police are still there on the scene trying to clear the streets near La Cienega and 3rd Street. They say no arrests have been reported. Several ambulances, though, have been called for and some reports of cuts and bruises, but police have no official word of any injuries. Uh, this all started when a crowd estimated to be up to 15,000 people there to see Depeche Mode to get autographs got out of hand. They'd waited for hours, some of them even days, to see this group. They're appearing at an album signing at Warehouse Records tonight. At least they were. They had to be whisked away. Depeche Mode showed up at about 9 o'clock tonight, but the crowd just couldn't wait. And after about an hour, the band was whisked away. Had to be. Police are working now to clear the rest of the crowd out. <laughs>
Depending on whom you believe, up to 10,000 young people showed up last night to see the British band Deposh Mode at a record store promotion. It started peacefully, but got out of hand when restless fans started pushing and shoving. LAPD called in almost 100 officers before it was over, and they were dressed for battle. In the end, seven fans were hurt. Our Linda Zoman spent the day trying to find someone to take the responsibility for it. Warehouse records, and to the extent that K-Rock Radio was involved, they too are responsible for one of the most incredible poor judgment calls that I have ever seen. L.A. City Councilman Zev Yaroslavsky is furious that Warehouse and K-Rock, the radio station that promoted the band's appearance, let so many kids stand in line for so long. He wants them both to pick up the tab. The city wants between twenty and thirty thousand dollars for police time, paramedics who were on the scene, and the cost of cleanup. This place was a mess when it was all over. They believe they have the legal grounds to try and collect. K-Rock DJ Richard Blade promoted the event for about a week ahead of time. He says it's not the station's job to worry about how many fans might show up. We are the vehicle which lets people know what's happening uh, with their music. We wouldn't be doing our job if we didn't let people know what's happening. You know, our job is to play music. It's not to arbitrate, you know, only a certain amount of people can go. Today, band member Andy Fletcher called K-Rock to tell fans he was sorry things got out of hand. We just never expected that amount of people to turn up. We've done many in-stores in, in, you know, in our career sort of thing, and never has that amount of people uh, turned up. The band had to be hustled out of the store last night by police. For a lot of kids, the mob scene was terrifying. I was standing right by the window, right under the warehouse sign, and... It was just, <laughs> I was scared. I was really scared. They totally got out of control. They didn't know what they were doing. It's like they were just so obsessed with seeing them, and they didn't, they ruined it for everybody. Depeche Mode is a British band that was here to promote a new album. If you didn't know who they were before, you do now. Linda Zoman, Channel 9 News.